So the finally fully completed clock, the Western by clock, all the magnets and everything and kind of cleaned up. Finished off the uh, junction box in the back. I just engraved it when I had it uh, in the mill. There's the back of the clock. got a bit of a pulse. I haven't, to be honest, I haven't looked into any further about uh, deadening the, the over-rotation and the kind of the rocking motion to uh, the second hand pulses with the eddy current. Uh, get a bit of time, I'll maybe start playing with that a bit more. So uh, just some uh, aluminum tubing into the box um, and then a strain relief. I actually abandoned the circuit board that Weston Bai had designed. Um, I was having some issues with it. It's not very efficient uh, for the way it works. Um, I actually just programmed an Arduino and set up uh, some transistors to do the work and I'm using a third of the power, if even that, that the original board has. So this is just a, a mock-up. I'm just waiting for some Arduino minis to come in and I'm gonna wire that up for both the clocks that I'm making for my father and, and this one here And then I'll make another little enclosure to, to hold that but uh, Yeah, so here's the operation. So each of those coils are energizing They alternate so This will energize then a second later this one will energize when that one de-energizes and then same with that one 